Mr. Fudge, your balloon man. .com. Hey guys, it's Mr. Fudge, your balloon man, and today we're gonna be making a crab. For the crab, we're gonna need three balloons. We're gonna need uh, two red and one white. Now, if you're able and capable, you're gonna start with the two red and blow them up, of course, at the same time. Wow, did he just blow up two? Just like so, leaving about a hand's length at the end. You're gonna tie them separately, because tying them together could put your crab in knots, and that would not make him very happy. In fact, it might make him a little extra crabby. <laughs> so we're gonna take one balloon, put it to the side, grab your other, you're gonna twist a single, like, one-inch bubble, then a little bit longer bubble. Then you're gonna take your nozzle, pull it very tight, <laughs> apparently too tight, and wrap it around, and then stick it through the center of those two bubbles. That's gonna help so it doesn't come undone on you. Then you're gonna make a one-inch bubble. You're gonna fold and pinch and twist. So you're gonna pinch and twist and fold so that you get a nice little claw that kind of sits to the side. You're gonna go up a little bit further. I like to make them with no like crease in his arm. This will go straight to my ear twist. Now this is gonna be one arm of the crab. Now is when you get to pull out the other balloon and repeat the same thing again. That's a small bubble, a little bit bigger bubble. Twist around, pull it to the center. Twist a little one-inch bubble. Go a little bit out, pinch and twist, and make your ear twist. For those that can't twist as fast as me, now's your time to pause and catch up. Cool. Now once you're back, you're gonna take either one of these, and you're gonna pinch and twist. These are gonna be the legs of the crab, and you're gonna do it to both sides. I know, it's so exciting getting to juggle these things. And then, you're gonna find out how fat you want your crab to be. This would be very fat, this would be very thin. I like to find somewhere in the middle. Once I do that, I pinch and twist one side, then I pinch and twist the other side, and then I go back and forth with one and or the other of the balloons. I try to keep them, uh, this one back and forth, and this one back and forth, I try to keep it kind of even, because I don't want one to get really tight so that it goes boom, because that's kind of scary. So, we'll twist that off a little bit more, and you get one of these, and now it is a crab with laser vision, shooting eyeballs out of the side of its armpits. So what we do is we break this off. If you are not capable of breaking a balloon like Kung Fu, you can also take and cut your balloon, tie it off, and either cut off the excess, or stick it inside, or a little bit of both, as I so happily demonstrated just then. So that is most of our crab. You could draw eyes and be done. However, we don't skimp on the details. So we take one more balloon, blow it up just a hair's length, very long hair's length, and get a couple of eyes twisted, just like that. There's a couple of bubbles about the same size. Oh no, my eyes! And if they're not the same size, that's okay. We're gonna untwist them anyway, tie up the other side, and then find the center magically again as we tie them together, just like so. And that's gonna be your eyes. They also make great for puppets. And we're gonna stick this right in the head of the crab, just like so, and you get a crab that's facing backwards or facing me, but that's okay. You pull out your marker, cause you gotta have a Sharpie marker when you're dealing with balloons. Yeah. If you're gonna have a marker pop something, might as well have sharp, that way you have an excuse. Yeah, I get it. So then we're gonna take our eyes, just like this. I like to make those nice long eyes. I can see. Cause a romantic crab is so much more fun. Uh -huh. And then you get your little crabby guy to advertise for you, and in fact, we're gonna make him say, Mr. Fudge. Monsieur Fudge. And there you go. For more shapes and tutorials, please check out yourballoonman.com. Mm.